shelter on my property. It was kind of a bad time of year to build it, but uh, I had some time on my hands. That's why I'm doing a video now too. I got a little bit extra time. So I, I was kind of having trouble deciding which direction I wanted to face the opening. Uh, you know, we get the winds out of the north in the winter time, so I didn't really want it facing north or facing south because it'll create an eddy and blow it in there. Uh, winds out of the west in, in the spring and in summer, so once again, I really didn't want it facing there. So I kind of remembered uh, a while ago seeing a publication that Morris Kohansky put out about building a, a portable or a mobile shelter that you could move around. And at first I thought, well, kind of, why, why would you want to do that? And then it kind of dawned on me, number one, because of wind direction. Number two, I, I don't think you're really going to drag this thing a, a really long ways. But I, I guess if you were really motivated, you could. But it's really not, uh, it's not too heavy, but it's a little bit bulky. So I decided to start building this. So I, I gathered up some materials. I got some ironwood uh, poles here. And then uh, I ended up with some 550 cords, some bank line. Uh, some clear plastic bisqueen, emergency blanket, and a tarp. And I, I started putting this together kind of off a of memory from pictures I'd seen. And it came out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, it'll give me a work platform to sit on and work in front of the fire. And plus, if I want to rack out for a while, I can put this down and, and do it. But I'll go over a little bit of how I did this. To begin with, I started with two long poles and put those on the bottom. All right, the reason I put those two long poles on the bottom is so I could come over here, lift it up, and carry it around, drag it where I want it to go. So I can change where it's at. So I start with those two poles. So we'll say these are those two poles, right? I laid those out, then I laid more like that, like that, and then just stacked them up, right? Kind of Lincoln Log style. Once I had it to the height I wanted, which was three, I just took a piece of 550 cord, went around it, Canadian jammed it. And once again, I'm going to have pictures of this over at Bushcraft USA also. I'll do a whole post on it. From there, I decided I wanted to get these arches in here. I started with the back arch, and I just took the ends of the willow branches and weaved them in and out of the uh, uh, braces down here, bent them over, and then tied them together. <coughs> and I started with these three hoops first, then went... Uh, on this back side, came through up and around, and tied them here. I'll maybe be able to tilt it up so you can see a little better. So you can see the whole framework that's in there. These were green. I cut them down on a sandbar. It gets washed out all the time, so it's not like you know it's some great resource or something. I mean, it's a great resource, but it's not some big thing that's going to get missed. Uh, they get washed out all the time. So sandbar. Bar willow for me is a great access, a resource. Then I went ahead and put the uh, space blanket behind it for the reflective qualities. The next thing I did was put the visqueen on it. And I tucked it back in here so that it would stay. And of course, Gonna have to secure it down and pull it back around, but you can see how that covers that right away. And then I put a tarp on the whole thing in the back side. I got a couple spots in here that I'm not real happy how it covered, so I'm probably gonna take another tarp and layer it on there. But you can see it, it's not a hard project to do. It took me maybe uh, with collecting the willows and building the whole structure probably about three hours. So is it an immediate survival shelter? Not in my book, no. But could it be a viable uh, shelter to stay out in for a few days? You bet. I think it worked pretty good. I think it worked good in the rain. I think it worked good in the snow. I think it, uh, it's really pretty solid. So it's an option to look at. I'm not done with the, the bed yet. I want to take some willows and weave them in and out of there and make a real nice bed. But like I said, I'll have more pictures and uh, this video up on Bushcraft USA. So thanks for watching.